When it comes to politics, the Verify team is here to get you the facts, avoiding spin and sticking to the truth. Right now, Congress is pretty split with a 50-50 tie in the Senate. That's why Democratic leaders are talking about what's called budget reconciliation. So let's verify. What is it and what could it mean for that $1.9 trillion stimulus bill? Here are sources, the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, the House Committee on the Budget, Casey Burgett from the George Washington University, and Bill Doster, who served as the Deputy Chief of Staff on Policy for former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. So here's what the process looks like. First, the House and the Senate come to an agreement and pass a bill known as a budget resolution. This is the blueprint for the whole federal budget and tells the committees how much they could spend and how much they can cut, but not what they should use that money for. They can only give the committee a top line number, uh, an amount of spending up to which they can spend or an amount of taxes up to which they can cut. Those committees then decide how to spend the money and what cuts to make before sending it back to the budget committee. Which takes a big stapler and collects them all into one big bill and brings that bill to the floor. And the big advantage here for the controlling party is that they only need a simple majority, not the typical 60 votes they would need in the Senate to defeat a filibuster. But there are rules. The big one is called the Byrd Rule. To simplify, the added legislation must be related to the budget. It has to affect spending levels. It can't just be uh, like uh, to put up um, the, the Bill of Rights in every classroom. A senator can object to this legislation if they think it breaks the rules through what's called a point of order. It's then up to the Senate parliamentarian to decide if it stands. Right now, that's Elizabeth McDonough. It's a lot of power for, uh, for somebody that's not elected. And a lot of stress and a lot of work. So we can verify that yes, budget reconciliation can be used to pass certain legislation relating to spending and revenue with a simple majority. And this has been done 21 times since 1980, including in 2017 with the Trump tax cuts. Reporting here at the Capitol, this is Evan Kozlov with your Verify.